the chat and chow, Slanter Joe here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Gold 97 Let's Play. In the last episode, we went to the Mountain Cave and dealt with some strength puzzles. Then we went to do the bug catching contest and searched around the National Park and the Stan City Zoo. In today's episode, we're going to Kanto, not the region, the town called Kanto. Because there's a town in this game called Kanto. It's where the next gym is. And that's where we are going. Route 113, Stan City to Kanto. Again, not the town. I'm on patrol for suspicious villains. Why weren't you on patrol two episodes ago, a, three, a couple episodes ago when we were facing Team Rocket? Like you would have been so helpful for us dealing with Team Rocket, but no. Me, 10 year old, had to deal with Team Rocket, like I always do. Who, you know, 10 year old video game character, 10 year old protagonist, deals with, can, uh, deals with, uh, evil team. I know it makes good news for the, I know it makes a good story for the papers, but like, you know, Team Rocket, thwarted by 10 year old, not police. <laughs> Millions of millions of people would like look at that and say, "Why are the police so awful in these games?" But you know, it's not about that. Psyduck, cool. I'm guessing if we uh, came here at night, we'd be able to face him. So I might do that off screen and see if I will report back if I can face him. Gold Dark, cool. Is this going to do a lot of damage to Gold Duck? It is. Didn't kill, but I did get the paralysis. I will take that very much. Confusion. That did nothing. That's fine. Thundershock. Nice. Dead Gold Duck. Level 36 for Volty. And Daisy gained some experience too, because Daisy's holding the XP share. What is this item? I found the nuggets! Yay! More money! What can I find here in the grass? More skip loons. I'm not really interested in Skip Loon though, that's my thing. I'm not really interested in Skip Loon, but cool nonetheless. Yeah, oh, well, it's not really a practice battle now, is it? Since you don't really battle anyone else bar me, so... Oh, you have a hop -ip. Okay. I mean, Daisy's what I'd like to use against you. If you have like the foot, oh come! Would you? Would people stop doing that? It's really annoying when Daisy, when I switch into Daisy and people use sleep powder. It's really annoying. It is that happened last time. I switched into like someone had a Butterfree, I think it was like, and I switched into Daisy to deal with the Butterfree, and then well, Daisy got put to sleep by the darn Butterfree, and I was really annoyed because. Just keeps on happening. Daisy, wake up, please. Daisy, wake up, please. Thank you. Now wing attack the hop -ip. Nice, got a crit. From Fine. I think it I think I gave Hop -ip. I think I gave Daisy. I think Daisy gave Hop -ip a rude awakening. It's like why why did you wake me up? I was having such a nice dream. Crits him with wing attack. Yeah, Daisy is Daisy is pissed now. <laughs> it will destroy everyone. Do you have a jump off as well? You do? Let's see what jump off looks like in this game. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. 
Wow, Jump Off lived? Okay. Jump Off lived on like 1 HP from that wing attack. Do you want my phone number? Yeah. I will give you I will give you my phone number, Gina. Trainer tips. Berries grow on tree berry trees grow new berries every day. Make note of which trees bear which berries. Cool. I will do that. What is across here? Hello. You need to stop here and challenge me to battle. And that's an order. Okay. But what if I don't want to do that? Oh, you're a soldier. Okay, that's a new trainer class that I've never seen before. Soldier. Okay. I like new trainer classes. Also, this is a golem. I'm going to get destroyed by this golem if I stay in with Volty. I say that. I don't actually know if I would get destroyed. All I know is that Volty couldn't deal with a golem. I guess I could have gone into uh, a Wisp. Yeah, Wisp could have done, dealt with this too. We beat Soldier Gerard. Dismissed. Cool. I think I could be strong enough to take on the league someday. And we'll see about that, mate. We will very much see about that. Pokefan Brandon has a snubble. Now, if you had evolved this snubble into a Granville, I would say possibly yes you would be somebody who could possibly take on the Pokemon League one day. But, in its current stage, this Snubble is not strong enough to take on the Pokemon League. Anytime soon. Sorry mate, you really need a Granville if you want that honour. Brandon was defeated. Why does it end this way? Because you have a snubble. That's why it ends this way. I don't think I have enough motivation to go through with my league. Don't go... Don't be down on yourself because I kicked your ass. Just... Just get stronger and uh, maybe evolve your mons. Where are you from? Silent Town. That's actually not too far from here. The air... Uh, isn't the air so fresh around here? Pokemon love the sweet air. Certain Pokemon uh, can make the air sweet. Did you know? It's TM12. Sweet scent. It's sweet scent. Use it wherever Pokemon appear. Pokemon will be in intrigued by it. Okay. Cool. I'm taking a break from a long jog here. Sorry! Sorry about that, Sportsman Jacob. I didn't mean to in interrupt your break, but if you really want me to battle you, I will. And then you can go about your jog. Because I will kick your ass. You have a Dodrio as well. Okay, so that's what Dodrio looks like in this game. And I'm still faster than Dodrio. Dodrio is one of the fastest Pokemon in Gen 1, uh, Gen 1 slash Gen 2. And I'm faster than it with Ryolta. Cool. 
Cool. Hello. Have you uh, been to a picnic? They're so much fun. Yes, I've been to a picnic. Um, not for a very long time since I was a kid, but yeah, I've been to picnics. You have a skip loon. Please do not use sleep powder on me whilst I go and get Daisy. Daisy! Come on out here, please. Now, please do not use sleep powder on me. Oh, you did use the... You were trying to use leech seed. So you were going to try it, but you missed. You would have died anyway. It would have been fine. Daisy Grid's level 37. Nice. That experience share is actually coming in really good, really handy here. And you have another skip loon. Another wing attack. Dead skip loon. Nice. Thank you, Daisy. And there we go. Hello. Yo, Joe, how's it going? It's me, Joey. You got a minute? My uh, Radador is looking... Wait, you don't have a Radador anymore. You have a Radicate now, Joey. So he's sharp than before. I doubt there's a Pokemon as cool as this guy in your party. Oh, yeah. I saw a Rinder Ring and thought about going for it. But I decided to work one on... Uh, with one and only Pokemon to the extreme. All right, later. Cool. Hello. I'll tell you a secret, but first we battle. Okay. What is this? He won't tell me what the secret is until he beats me, will he? Ooh, you're a Digdog Trio. This is a horrible match for Volty. Like, literally, this is probably one of the worst matches Volty could take place in. Can Wisp take this down? Wisp can take that. Acid. Does nice damage. I get the lefties recovery. Now can I go for the Vine Whip? No, I cannot go for the Vine Whip because you're faster than me and you dig a hole. Damn it. I can live that. Oh, ow, ow, ow. That was a crit. Why, oh, why did you have to crit me? And an onyx. I can stay in, in this. I get me some HP back via the recovery uh, from lefties, but I should be okay. I should be. I should be okay. I do. I dealt with the onyx really easily. Actually, I'm okay. Nice. We beat Hiker Sydney. Now tell me your secret. I was just kidding about the secret. I don't actually know anything interesting. Oh, you clickbaited me. He doesn't actually know any secrets. Wasted my time. You just wanted to battle me. That's all it is. Damn you, Hiker Sydney. I know I didn't really need to use a super potion there, but like... I wanted to. Okay, leave me alone. I wanted to use a super potion there. Have you ever been to Kanto? A few times. Oh, right, you mean the town. No, I've never been to the town called Kanto. I am trying to get through there, Campadine. Your Psyduck will die. A most painful death. Nice. Daisy Green some experience too. And a sand slash. Wisp. 
Come on out here and deal with this sand slash. You can deal with a sand slash, right, Risp? Yeah, I think you can deal with this. Vine Whip, destroy the Sand Slash, please. Whoa, Sand Slash lived. And you Slash. Please don't crit me. God damn it, you crit me. I was just, I just fed him a lemonade. I just gave him a lemonade to drink. And now he's back to half HP again. Because people just keep on critting my darn Wisp. Hey, mate. She'll be coming round Mount Fuji when she comes. Ah, I see what you did there. You did the fry. Uh, you did the song. She'll be coming round Mount... Uh, the mountain. And... Uh, Mount Fuji is in this game. It's the place you go through in order to get to the Pokemon League. I see what you did there, mate. I see what you did there. Rock from. Okay, I can handle that. And with Lefty's recovery, you don't really do too much damage to me. Cool. Nice. Gain 94 experience from that. I get level 36. Nice work, Wisp. And a Graveler. Stay in. It's a Graveler. It can't kill me, right? Get more left to use recovery. I'm running out of vine whips, I will admit. I'm running out of vine whips right now. But I'm okay. And a golem. Okay. This will be the test to see if you can actually defeat a golem, Wisp. Can you one-shot a golem? You can! Nice work, Wisp! Good work. Okay. Oh, I was kind of hoping I could avoid you. Hey, you don't let her. I wasn't going to. I know the rules. I'm nice. I'm a nice guy. I'm a nice guy, Camper Sid. You have Dig Dog Trio. My real Wisp is like so useful here. I mean, I'm running low, I will admit, I am running low on Vine Whips, but... But, uh, other than that, Wisp is so useful here, like, really useful. Get more lefties recovery. Sand attack, you missed, nice. There we go. Whoa, you lived! Okay, I'm gonna save myself some PP and use, uh, Acid instead, then. Because I'm pretty sure Acid should kill from here. It does! It's not very effective, but it kills, nonetheless. Okay, Daisy goes to level 38. Nice! Uh, you have a Primeape. Speaking of Daisy, Daisy can deal with that. Daisy can deal with Primeapes. Let's go for the Wing Attack. And that should... Yeah, that's definitely killing. And... You have a third Pokemon. What is that? A Polyrath. Daisy, stay in. Oh, so that's what Polyrath looks like in this game. Can Polyrath handle a wing attack? It can. It very much can. But Watergun is going to do, like, nothing to me. Like, literally nothing. Nice. We beat Camper Sid. That's just pointing it out. Sorry, you, I know you weren't listening. My mistake. Let's battle you. People shouldn't leave any litter behind. No, they shouldn't. They very much shouldn't leave any litter behind. I've seen what people have done after the aftermath of these uh, so-called lockdown raves that have been going on throughout Britain over the past couple of weeks that shouldn't actually be happening at all. But 
I've very much seen the aftermath of what's happened uh, when they have when those things have happened, and it looks abs the, the amount of litter at those things is dreadful. People should not be going to raves in this in these times, but they also shouldn't be leaving litter around at any time. Like there's a bin, there are bins in the park for reasons. And in fact, actually, most parks ask you to take home your own rubbish these days because they don't really want to hire any, like, in this day and age, they don't really want to employ anyone that can, you know, pick up the rubbish. Because that's another person out there when they shouldn't be. So they say, take, bring home your own rubbish when you're done with the, from the park. I flinched and I got a crit. Nice work, Monty. What is this? Route 114, Stan City to Kanto. Welcome to Kanto! We are here in Kanto! Kanto, Nanto's Southern Crown Jewel. They're holding an eating contest in this restaurant. Just watching them makes me feel bloated. Well, I'll go and see what that's about in a minute. Because I can. We're not going to, I don't know if we're going to take on the gym today, but we're definitely going to venture around Kanto and see what Kanto has for us. Hello, mate. Have you been to the department store here? They have a better selection than West City, I think. Oh. Red is the master of all Pokemon. You better be uh, ready to challenge him. I will. I very much will be. Whoa. You and your Pokemon are really close. Thank you. Thank you, mate. Right, what is down here? Hello. The scientists in this lab are amazing. They will be able to turn my fossil into a loving into a living Pokemon. Cool. Hey mate. Did you know? Where? Uh made we made great stra aids in Pokemon fossil technology, we are able to bring back Poke fossilized Pokemon in mere seconds. Cool. Hello. Hiya, I'm a scientist who specializes in Pokemon fossils. Let me know if you have any Pokemon fossils and I will turn them back into living Pokemon. Cool. This place is Nyon's hub for the brightest researchers. Cool. Hello. Ever since I was a boy, I loved Magikarp. I may... I may yet to... I may yet realize my dream of seeing the world's largest Magikarp. Do you have a rod? Please help me if you do. Okay. So this guy measures your magic ops. Boy, I sure love fishing. And this is such a peaceful spot to do it. Me and my sweet wife were once tough trainers. But now we just spend our days together here. And I couldn't be happier. Good for you. Good for you. Me and my dear husband have lived here for decades. I'm so happy to have spent this time with him. That's so nice to hear. That's very nice to hear. What is here? Hello. 
Pokemon? No, this is a hotel for people. We're full up. No. Oh. I've never been to Kanto before. There's a lot to do, lot to see here. Yeah, that's why I'm doing it. Me and my boyfriend are on vacation. Okay, I will leave you alone then. She's told us she has a boyfriend, so I'm going to leave her alone. I respect that. The owner of this game corner recently bought ownership to the new one on the boardwalk. There's another game corner! I like games, but I'm kind of tired of games of chance. I like to play video games or something. Huh? There's a place near West City where I should check that out. Alright, I'll give it a go. Thanks! Yay! I told another person about the video game house. Which means I probably should get something for that. Don't know what, but I'll see. Okay, so you you buy coins. Oh, so right, the prizes are next door. Okay. What prizes can we get for here then? TM32, TM29, TM15. Pikachu, uh, Porygon, Wolfan. Okay, cool. Phew. I got to stay calm and cool. I can't lose my cool or I'll... or my money. I wanted Porygon, but I'm short by a hundred coins. Okay. Do you know about Silphco? If not, you should probably uh, go. There's a good chance they make Pokeballs. Uh, your Pokemon. They make the Pokeballs your Pokemon are in. Cool. I run the game corner. Test your luck and. You could be a big winner. I couldn't finish my lunch. Your Pokemon might want it. You! I mean, he gave me leftovers, so that's pretty cool. But, uh, you know, I was thinking you for a sec there. Okay, so there's a... So this restaurant is holding an eating contest. Hi! We're holding an eating contest. We can't serve you right now, sorry. Oh. More chef. I found a mystery berry! Thank you! Random berry in the mach in the bin. The food here uh, is uh, the food is here. The food here is good, but New Type City Cafe holds the best food ever. I take quantity over quality. I'm happy when I'm full. Don't talk to me. You'll break my concentration. All right, sorry. Okay, so that is the eating, uh, that is the restaurant where there's an eating contest going on. This is Silphco? Hello. Welcome, this is Silphco's head office building. Is this the entirety, are they trying to make the entirety of Kanto in one city? The O. Only employees are permitted to go upstairs. But since you came all this way, you can have a neat souvenir. An upgrade! Thank you! It's Silphco's latest product. It's not for sale anywhere yet. 
So that will evolve my Porygon into Porygon 2. And I'm pretty sure I can use it just like an item in these games. This is the Celadon City Condominiums? Here, uh, my dear Pokemon keep me company, so I don't ever feel lonely. Hello oh, mate. Hi, I'm the developer. The other one. The one, uh, the one upstairs, uh, the guys upstairs, well, I wouldn't want to know about. Thank you so much for playing uh, this, though. I worked so hard on it. Oh, you're the game developer! Tried to make it authentic as possible. Apart from this uh, fourth floor wall break, which this is. Oh, I love it when the game developers put themselves in the game. I love that. Hiya, I'm the graphic artist. I drew you. Aren't twins adorable? Jasmine's pretty too. Oh, I love them. This guy's creepy. Whoa, me? I'm the programmer. Play the slot machines. Uh, this is right. Uh, that is right. I'm the game designer. Filling up the Pokedex is tough though, don't, but don't give up. Cool. Ah, uh, nothing there. I do want to go around the back and see what's uh, through there though. And I did like the fact that the game developer put himself in the game. Now the question is, how do I get behind the back of the condominiums? Ah. No. Hey mate. Well, hi there. We just love having visitors. My wife can talk uh, everyone, anyone's ear off over some tea. Oh, hello there. Love meeting, I love meeting new people. Maybe you stop by one afternoon and we can have some tea. Okay. I mean, it's afternoon now. I'd like, I'd like a cup of tea. Pokemon Tower. A monument to all Pokemon who have passed. See what I mean? This entire face is Kanto. It's like Kanto's Battle Club. A member only club for serious trainers. See what I mean? This is the entirety of Kanto in one city. I've never been to... I've never been a serious trainer. I mean, I train Pokemon but, uh, and I battle, but it's more of a hobby. The guy inside uh, the Kanto Battle Club won't let me inside. Oh. Poor you. Okay, so there's nothing there. There's like a mountain there, that's fine. There's another Pokemon Center. I'm guessing because it's this place is huge. And there's the gym. One day I want to be as strong as Red. I'm not sure that will happen though. Very few people are as good as him. The Kanto department store has the best selection. If you get there, that is, you can get, if you can get there, you can get anywhere. Gee, that sounds like a, I sound like a sales clerk. But there's the, sh here's the shop. Why is this mart here if the department store is right next door? That's the question I was about to ask. Right, what do they sell here in the mart? Okay, that's what you sell here in the mart. 
But over here, this is the department store. The department store chain uh, as one, the one, it's the same as the one in West City. They b were both renovated at the same time. Oh, cool. Hello, welcome to the Cantor Department Store. Our directory is on the wall. This is my first time here. It's so big. I'm afraid I'll get lost. Can I go down? Is there a basement? There is not a basement. Okay, so let's see what this directory is all about. First floor, service counter. Second floor, trainer's market. First, third floor, TM shop. Fourth floor, Wiseman Gifts. Fifth floor, Dog's Floor. Sixth floor, Rooftop Square. Okay, so here I can buy Pokeball, Great Ball, Ultra... Okay, can buy all of those. And you sell me all the potions. Okay, and then this is the TM shop. Huh? Uh, the traded Porygon uh, turned into a different Pokemon. Oh, uh, huh, uh-oh. I traded a Pokemon without removing the upgrade I gave it. Oh dear. So we got TM10, TM11, so TM10, Hidden Power, TM11, that is uh, Sunny Day, that's Protect, that's Rain Dance, Concrete inflicts damage every turn, Sandstorm? Okay. Uh, what is up here then? Riseman Gifts. What do you sell? Oh, this is where I can buy the stones. I can... Wait, I can just buy a poison stone? But I can get them... F there you go. I'll buy one then. I was going to get them from the... Uh, from the game corner because they've given away them at uh, 800 pounds but like then i realized i don't really need to do that because you know they're just being given away you sell the x items you sell me my drugs yep you sell me my drugs and then up the top is all the vending machines Where I can buy soda pop lemonades and fresh waters, but I don't really need. We're getting to the, near the end game now, so I don't really need those things. Okay, so this is Canto. So that's Canto for you. In the next episode, we're going to take on the gym. But before we go and do that, I want to go and see if I can get... To... Ah! That's how I get behind this place. Hello, mate. Hi, places. I love them so... Uh, um, I'd say the only thing that uh, loves heights as much as me is smoke. Cool. What is in here? Let me recount a terrifying tale. Then again, it's not as scary whilst it's still light outside. Come back after sunset. Okay, so in the next episode, we'll be doing this at night time. So I can show you what that terrifying tale is and 
I guess we'll also go and take on the gym and face Red. So that should be rather fun, I think. Kanto is literally like the town. This town of Kanto is like. We'll also take on the Pokemon. We'll also see about taking it on the Pokemon Battle Club as well. Uh, the Kanto Battle Club. This place is like the entirety of Kanto in one town, and that's so cool. It lit this place literally has everything. And that's so cool. Secret selection of goods. Kanto department store. Okay. And then down here. Both of my young children just love Pokemon. I was never a trainer, so sometimes I'm not sure what to tell them about raising Pokemon. Maybe I could beat the league with a big, just big Pokemon. One day, I want to be stronger than Red. Good for you. Okay, so this is the gate. What is down here then? Red's house. Blue's house. Okay. Pokemon Research Lab. Note, Professor Oak is currently researching in Silent Town. Technology is incredible. You can trade across time. This place is literally Kanto! Hello. Hi. My boy Red is the gym leader here. He also defeated the league last year. I'm so proud that my boy has uh, of what my boy has accomplished. It looks like it hasn't been used in a long time. Joe played the N64. Better get going, it's no time to lose. Anyway, so we're going to end off today's episode here. This place is so cool. It literally is the coolest city in the world. This place is literally the entirety of Kanto in one city. How is that not cool? I love it. I absolutely love it. Anyway, this is where I'm going to end off today's episode. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I ran into a Pokemon. I ran into an Arbark. In the next episode, we're going to take on Red. We're going to see about that terrifying tail, and we're going to go. We're going to try and make it back to Silent Town. That is all the things we are going to do in the next episode. It's going to be awesome. Anyway, until next time, I've been Lantern Joe. You have been watching an episode of Pokemon Gold 97. And until next time, me to the Pokemon get to Lazar. Everybody get Pokemon. Good night. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And of course, you can ring the bell and you'll be notified first when those videos come out, you can follow me on Twitter at Lantern Joe, where you'll get news, thoughts, and opinions from me, Joe, and the rest of the Lantern Nation. And of course, if you're a fan of this sort of thing, then you might like Power Zone Metal, a radio show presented by me and my brother Dan, aka the Gentleman of Metal. You can find out more information about that on PowerZoneMetal.uk. And of course, if you want to watch more videos, you can watch them by clicking in the top right and top left hand corner of this here end card. And of course, until next time, from me, Joe, and from the rest of the Lantern Nation, we'll see you again.